really something. Two sizes only, large and small. There was no fitting or measuring. I complained my outfit was too small. So they cut me rations in half to thin me down. Make no mistake, laddie. I know what good grub's all about. And the Navy ain't where you get it. It's all full of weevils. Everything looks and tastes the same. And you've got to sit in something like a coal bunker to eat it. They're just breaking you in for the stuff you're going to get aboard ship. It'll never change, believe me. Makes me sick to think of the rubbish we used to get. But we sure used to get hungry. It was like torture in your stomach twice. Once when you thought about it, and again when you forced it down your throat. I'm not making you sick talking about it, am I? This one here, the glass looks good. Turn your lemon out to allow access to the glass. Sauce colour is good, consistency is okay, and flavour is quite good. This one, a little bit more sauce, a little bit more filling for it. Consistency, the colour is good, and the flavour is quite good. It's going to take a while to get rid of those bad memories, son. Still have nightmares myself about that basic training. Your little dark, left, right, yes, sir, no, sir. Present! Shut up when you're answering me and all that, Mark. All for discipline, they reckon. Like to know what happens today. Right here, the water go! Two laps, freestyle, move it! They still carry on with all that adventure and excitement stuff in the papers. Lot of lies. About time they told the truth about how bloody boring and dull it is and stop wasting the time of young fellas who could be out there having fun or doing something useful. Come here, you little devil. Well, there's dinner. You know, I learned a whole new language in that place. Fancy calling the toilet of the head. Nobody more relieved than me, you know, to make that passing out parade. You were a real sailor then. Your mum and dad were there, God bless them. And those ratbags who gave us such a hard time during training, they turned out to be decent blokes after all. The captain told evil eyes about the bright future ahead. Plenty of silly fools seem to believe him, too. I miss seeing me mates I joined with. Few of us became gunners. Only time we ever fired a shot in anger was when the captain had a shirty on. Let's talk about boring guns. <laughs> You know, I've seen lots of young fellas like yourself down here, all fired up about the Navy. What beats me is, you're supposed to be educated and smart. But you sit there, telling me the Navy's got something going for it. Next thing you'll be telling me, I don't know what's happening anymore. Receiving an indication, you push air takeover. 
which brings the sea cap onto the target. You then track the sea cap by moving the launcher around on the target. The gunner officer gives engage, you push safe to fire. Stand by, fire. <laughs> We worked hard in my day. Something you young fellas wouldn't know much about. You're pretty quiet, lad. The truth hurts sometimes, you know. And I'll tell you another thing that's true. The Navy's a man's world, and always will be. Put your heart in. Mark 9 4, Mark 6, over. This is Western Port Control. I had one priority and two routine messages for you. Over. You know, a lot of young blokes going through today wouldn't know the sharp end from the blunt end or even what an engine room looks like. It's pretty obvious you can't teach sailors in a classroom. Bring in the power. Start up the other machine. On this machine, we can vary the voltage over quite a large range by the shunt field regulator. The sink from the radar is 250 pulses a second. Of course, we've got to be a bit careful. The voltage is quite high and... Uh... You're way off course, Hobart. Who's in there? Don't take all day, Vendetta. You still with us, Hobart, or have you gone to stand easy? Hear that, Hobart? There's another 20 cents for charity. It's going to be a lot different at sea, me boy. I think and breathe ships, laddie. We did things right in my day. I could go on forever about how crook it is. I guess you've made your mind up. I feel kind of sorry for you, really. Hey, what's this? What's we don't things a bit differently, 